Oh, I actually have room below my feet. Shit. Okay, and we're back for part two of this desk PC drawer build. So, as you can see, I kind of fixed it up, <laughs> sort of. Um, so, I managed to attach the top drawer to the bottom drawer here, actually using the uh, bottom piece here. It's a um, MDF of some sort, so. This is now attached. Uh, they are one solid piece. It slides in pretty well now, but I have the power supply mounted up here. I now have clear airflow, air flow through here for the CPU and the GPU, the two 128 millimeter fans up here in the front. And uh, because they are Corsair uh, LED fans, I got the controllers for it so you can just pull the drawer out tap the buttons for what he wants because this motherboard does not have aura sync or anything like that it's it's it was before they put that on a lot of motherboards it's not that old but it was like just before that time um the now the power connector actually connects right about here so i was thinking right now i just i loop the power cord right over the top because i think it was in the bottom it, it would cause too much tension pulling down but at least from the top it the tension seems to be a little bit less i'm going to put a loop small metal loop of some sort so i can attach a, a velcro strip here and then tie it off that way i'm just going to do the same up front so let's turn this thing around a little bit like right about here behind here i was i'm going to do another uh, small loop in inside to do uh, just to cable tie it up it's actually not too bad in here and so a lot of what I did here is, you're probably going to notice some changes, there's not that bar going across here. I actually took the motherboard tray from that case, and probably y'all kind of going, what? Yeah, I took it from that case and cut it up. So, unfortunately I can't use the IO shield. If I was going to use the IO shield, I wouldn't be able to use an ATX motherboard. So, it's kind of a compromise there. It's all open anyways. I mean, really, what's the IO shield going to protect from now at this point? So, why bother? Um, it powers on great. Uh, it gets a little bit of illumination from the front now, and uh, it does well. So, maybe now I can finally uh, slide it back in and use it to record my audio. Because right now my laptop's doing that. Not that it's doing a bad job, but it's a lot easier just to plug in over there. I actually have a couple things coming in from Amazon that unfortunately aren't going to be here for a while due to Amazon's uh, change in shipping policy uh, for priority. It's all going to uh, needed stuff, you know, mask and various other things like that, which is fine. It's why it's not, it's finished for how, for the equipment I have right now. Uh, I plan on adding right now where I have the front panel connector for the original case connected right now, it's going to be a I have a um, USB 3 hub coming in and an external power reset switch coming, but those won't arrive until, one won't arrive until the last week of April and another piece isn't arriving until the first week of May. So we're, I mean, right now for a lot of these things, you're looking at three week delivery times for Amazon, which I mean, even with Prime, I, you know, I was I used to get you know one, two day, three day at the max delivery times, and now it's three weeks. Kind of puts a hinder on you know being able to do some tech stuff. Um, I have another thing I want to do, and I need a couple more pieces from Amazon, but it's gonna be a while for it to get there, so I'm gonna have to come up with some other stuff to do in between then that I'm not sure how I'm gonna get done. So. There is that. Oh, and uh, I know I mentioned the whole Blu-ray thing earlier. Instead of cutting into this one, which would be a royal pain in the butt, what I'm going to do is uh, I just bought an external enclosure for the Blu-ray drive. So that'll work for now. Uh, the 
this is more of a proof concept than anything else because what I would like to do um, in the next version is basically get, uh, you know, this is going to have to wait till a lot of this, the whole thing is done. But I'm going to use, instead of plywood down here and the original desk parts, I'm going to replace basically everything, including the front here, with MDF. And just redo the entire thing, have this be one solid piece instead of attached like this. Because don't get it wrong, it's been jerry rigged. So, um, you know, and maybe look at getting a uh, 3D printed strap for the power supply. That would help. Give me a little more room to put stuff up top on this side. Um, I don't know, give it. I think that with the MDF, it would help a lot. And I'm actually going to use some of the original hardware that actually put the drawers together to, to match up the pieces. Make it likely I'm going to use the screws, the little uh, corner bracket to mount the sides to the front here. Why not? Be great use for them. And I really think the only other thing I want to do aside from the MDF, um, I'm going to need to redraw the holes, obviously. But what I'd like to do instead of using the Corsair uh, fans up here, I'd like to get the um, 240 you know the dual 120 uh, fans from Cooler Master that it's you know one plug and don't get me wrong it is LED but any you know, RGB but instead of having four wires I end up with two which is a lot easier to work with and such a small setup um, he was playing on it earlier and hot air was venting out the back just like it should have no problem uh, I still think I'm going to be doing I, I'm going to edit I edit that, but cut that open a little bit and set up a fan back there as well. Probably another two, you know, dual 120, just to make cabling that much easier. But overall, I think this thing is done very well. Um, still want to clean up some of the cable managing, but I'm going to do that when the other parts come in, just to make my life a little easier. Um, I did find that one of the things I had to do in terms of installation was it was fans first. Then I had to do, let's see, if I remember right. Yeah, fans, motherboard. Um, once I had the motherboard in, I had to do, I had to clean up some of the wires. Then I had to attach all the, thankfully this power supply in here is a uh, fully modular power supply. I had to do all the cables first, uh, not first, but uh, after the motherboard, attach everything that needed to be attached, kind of hung up, up over the side here then attach the power supply and then attach everything to the power supply because trying to do it beforehand was just it was a pain in the ass to say the least so that made it a lot easier in terms of order of operations um last thing i plugged in obviously was the front panel connector like this is for his wireless audio we did a video on that uh previously i'll link that um and power reset uh, when I redo with the MDF, what I'm going to do is a flush mount button set, and you can get those on Amazon, uh, PC case gear, and a few other places, mod places like that, mod my mods, I think, as well. But just want to put, you know, might have to put it on this side, but power and reset right here, because, like I said, when I'm redoing this all with MDF, right about here is where the five and a quarter inch bay is going to go, and I'm just going to use the, the cage from the case I'm gonna put that right there and with the MDF I'll be able to mount the power slide a little differently which will actually give me room for that cage and I can still use this for what I intend to use it for which is ripping my blu-rays and DVDs and 4k and the other things that I get and setting them up on Plex for myself so this has been a fun little project um I really want to redo this as one MDF piece like I said, this is a proof of concept and and a more of a uh, for myself. How do I do this? And now that I've done it, what ways can I make it better? Uh, you know, so been a lot of fun. Uh, cannot wait to redo this with MDF. And eventually, this whole place is going to get redone. I do have plans for that. Like I said in the first one, 
with everything going on, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but uh, I do plan on starting that very soon. So, other than that, uh, that's it. Uh, guys, I link in the description. I'll have the stuff that's currently on order and waiting to arrive of the other stuff that's going to be um, set to use for this and the stuff I plan on putting in, like the flush mount buttons and everything. I'll have that linked in the description. Like, dislike, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, till then, take it easy. Enjoy.